Prince Harry is far from poor. When he turned 30 he inherited around £10 million from the estate of his late mother Princess Diana. But, royal author Tom Quinn told the Daily Star, Meghan Markle was, horrified, to discover that the man she married was worth millions rather than billions. Tom says that Harry has given up a great deal for his new life with Meghan. Tom says, it's going to be very difficult for Meghan and Harry to continue to hog the media limelight because they have made their sense of victimhood central to what makes them interesting. When the complaining about how they have been treated eventually stops, which will surely be soon because it is the same old story, what will they have to offer? Tom, who has written around half a dozen absorbing books about the private lives of the royal family, predicts that Harry will sooner or later miss his old life with his aristocratic pals. And as Harry's fame fades away, Tom feels that the prince will increasingly cut a sad and lonely figure. At present the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are connected to a number of high-profile causes, but Tom's not convinced that can last. They can't seem to see that people judge you by what you do as much as by what you say, he explains. So, they can't worry about climate change and then fly around the world by private jet. They can't say they're worried about world poverty and then complain about their own poverty. Meghan was apparently horrified to discover that Harry was worth millions rather than billions. Meghan's pathological need to be famous will always get in the way of her desire to do good and Harry will increasingly seem to be the non-entity that walks forever like a ghostly shadow a few paces behind his wife. Tom has a good insight into what makes the Sussexes' relationship work. He said, being the spare Harry, had no role in life. His whole upbringing produced a man with few interests no intellectual abilities, no convictions and no passions. Tom added, his need for a mother figure can be judged by the fact that in order to get it and keep Meghan by his side, he has given up all the braying arrogant friends from Eton days along with the hunting shooting fishing tweedy world of his childhood with his father. But sooner or later, Harry will want that life back, Tom thinks. And perhaps then Meghan will move on to find herself a real billionaire.